You just said it, Jay. It's a lot of work. This is a whole lot of work. It takes time to save money. That man, is the if you one get 30, thing. 35% off uh, just about every item, she said. I mean, right. that, that pays for itself, I think. But then you got a comparison shop and know which one to go. Just, it's like a full-time job. Yeah, it, it's not exactly a slam dunk for a lot of folks, unfortunately. But, you know, sometimes it's uh, it's certainly worth it. You know, what else is worth it? Patience. Because if uh, if it if it isn't too much. I would just like to remind everybody that eight days ago, we got over an inch of snow. Eight days. Right. It seems like it's a long time <laughs> from now, but it's eight days. So I think that's a pretty good deal. Yeah, it definitely is, Betsy, for sure. Uh, I didn't know if you're going to me or if Jay was waiting uh, to do Word of the Jay Day. Jay is but, waiting. He uh, likes it, dramatic it pauses. Been. Yeah. Well, I thought for sure, I mean, it <laughs> seemed like that was something Matt needed to respond to, but I'll, I'll let you do that in the forecast. It, it, it is hard to believe it's been eight days. Matt, your weather word today is coupon. It goes off our last story. Um, I, I just, I'm old fashioned. Clip, get the coupon, go in the store, use it, you know, <laughs> drive it home myself. <laughs> call me crazy, but yeah. that's my world. Yeah. <laughs> I won't call you crazy. I'll call you other things, Jay. Not crazy, though. Uh, but I know you're waiting for that Sunday paper to come rolling oh, in yeah. so you can get those scissors out for sure. Yep. Absolutely. You know, it's funny. when we're, We've been doing the grocery delivery, and when we're checking out, it says, have you forgot to purchase this? And I'm like, no, I don't need that. And then you end up spending just as much because you're like, maybe I could use some chocolate bars anyway. Uh, we'll get to the forecast. Uh, temperatures today, uh, obviously very nice outside. This is We are very uh, habitual creatures in terms of the temperature, right? We're very climate controlled so we like the 70s most of us do and that's exactly where we are right now a little bit of a lake breeze setting up today but overall not too bad we've got some high clouds floating through we also have low cumulus clouds you can see both of them moving different directions all in all we'll call it partly cloudy skies right now that rain if you joined me last night i was saying how we'd have a brick wall holding this rain back the rain has tried to make it into our area it has not and the reason why we've got some pretty decent dry air at all levels of the atmosphere right now but look off towards the west it is very unsettled across the Plain States. There's a series of low pressures, none of them organized, but all of that is going to try to make it east into this high pressure, and that high pressure is going to be with us all week long, and that is going to set up a dome of heat down into the southeast that will expand, and that's where your heat and humidity comes from later on this week. National Design Mart Hour by our forecast. We're going to keep the high clouds tonight, so we'll go partly cloudy. Temperatures in the 50s, still very comfortable. Tomorrow we'll have veiled sunshine, as Russ Mitchell likes to call it, sunshine with some high clouds. Temperatures a little bit warmer, though. We should make it up into the mid and upper 70s by afternoon, and then as we get it into our Tuesday night, a little bit warmer. We'll only settle back into the upper 50s as that warm Warming trend continues. Wednesday's where it really starts a little bit. There'll be a warm front moving through. That could trigger an isolated shower or thunderstorm. But temperatures on Wednesday will head into the 80s and watch this ridge develop. But it looks like Mother Nature was saving the warm coupon over the last uh, week and a half and is finally using it because, boy, this sale is going to be huge in terms of this heat developing down to the southeastern half of the country. That dome will expand over northeast Ohio Thursday, Friday, before finally breaking down over the weekend. We've got some humidity coming with it as well. It's not going to be really humid around here, but you're certainly going to start to feel the air by Wednesday and then again on into the weekend. Union Home Mortgage 7 day forecast. There's the climb up into the mid and upper 80s by Thursday and Friday. Next real chance of rain outside of some isolated thunderstorms with the heat and humidity humidity really arrives Saturday and then especially Sunday and Monday next week as that ridge starts to break down. But Betsy, you mentioned it. It was just snowing around here in spots and now we're dealing with the heat. You just stick around in Northeast Ohio and you know, the next week obviously brings something markedly different. Of course, the other consistent is that people complained when it was snowing. They're going to complain when it's 88 degrees, too. So <laughs> it's, it's the way we deal with it, certainly. All right, Matt, we'll check in with you next half hour.